We are all brainwashed. We think we are living good. But you want to think how God wants us to live. How Adam and Eve lived with God in every aspect of their lives. How Jesus lives with God in his life. How God describes to us how we are going to live on new earth. With no pain, no tears, no arguing. Just pure holiness. God is the creator of everything. And today we are trying to create everything and anything. We need to think about just sitting down and doing nothing. And watching our Heavenly Father create and enjoy His work in person. Where no wrong can be done. God wants a world, and we want to understand this world where he creates one of our ideas, and it is perfect, and that, and that will only happen when we stop acting like God, trying to create. Adam and Eve asked God questions in person, and God answered in person. Today, we are acting on our own, thinking God is talking to us, but we have no idea. We want to imagine a world where we see and ask God in person, like he wants to do. But we're too busy acting on our own, and this needs to stop. This is how we are all brainwashed. This is our moment. This is our breakthrough moment. The brain is not designed to hear thoughts. If you were thinking of one word right now, like love, you're not supposed to hear the word love in your mind, like a voice. That's a dead person telling you your thoughts, acting like you, a conscience acting like God is speaking to you, and acting like you need a personal translator. You don't. You're possessed. <clears throat> Excuse me. How doubt works. Here's how the dead use doubt against us living humans. Everything in life our choices are to love or hate. That's over a million different topics, things, and collaborations to, to either love or hate. You want to operate out of love. This is why Jesus says to be humble. Now, the issue that I'm finding, I choose to be humble. Occasionally, I like to feel special. When I do this, the dead inside me either try to make me feel loved with my own feelings. They're using our body against us. Or they're, you know, they're making me feel overly special, like a king. Or by shoving words in my mouth, or rearranging my thoughts, or adding words to an end of my completed sentence to add in their two cents. When I feel sad, the dead continue again by making me feel more sad. Again, you think it's your own thoughts, but they're calling you dumb. You're sitting there and you're like, I'm, I'm sad, you know, and it's like, you're dumb. You think it's you, but it's not, okay? And you continue. The next thing the human might say is, um, I feel stupid. Unwanted, not love. The human says, I feel stupid. The dead person responds with, unwanted, not love. Again, you think it's your thoughts, but they're adding to it. This is why you need to operate out of love and be humble and love yourselves and others. 
because it's the same scenario all over again. Someone is being mean to you. You want to operate out of love because otherwise they feel your anger and feed you anger. It's the dead person inside trying to make you angry. This is something we all missed. And the sooner we comprehend this, the sooner we will live better lives. Please share.